Two companies made a mint preying on people across Buffalo and the country, taking advantage of those struggle that those who struggle to make ends meet. And now, as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki Dementri tells us, the state is making them pay back tens of millions of dollars. This was an elaborate and unscrupulous ripoff scheme. An illegal debt collection scheme based right here in Buffalo, a scheme that may have impacted tens, even hundreds of thousands across the nation. McKinnon and his network callously preyed on people who thought that they were doing the right thing. Uh, but today I'm happy to report that uh, we are doing the right thing by shutting him down as well as Mr. Mark Gray. After more than three years in the courts, New York State Attorney General Letitia James announced a $66 million settlement in the case against Douglas McKinnon, Mark Gray and their companies. Consumers who borrowed over a, f a few hundred dollars being hounded to pay thousands of dollars, they did not. Again, they did not legally owe. According to prosecutors, McKinnon Gray and their respective companies used illegal bully tactics, in some cases telling them they could be arrested if they did not comply. They set up franchises all across Buffalo and the Niagara region. And what they did is they provided the infrastructure for these businesses and they preyed upon vulnerable individuals. Consumers often received calls from what they thought were government agencies and the courts, but instead were spoof calls from these companies. These messages contain many false threats, including claims that consumers would have their wages garnished, their license revoked, and personal property taken if they did not pay. A statement released by Dennis Vacco, McKinnon's attorney, reads in part, quote, Mr. McKinnon wanted to put this matter behind him and avoid the ongoing cost of litigation and to allow him to move on to other business interests. He was not required to pay money at this time. Gray's attorney, Joseph Mikowski, says his client has no admission of liability, is satisfied with the settlement, and is looking forward to moving on with his family. The settlement has also barred McKinnon Gray and their companies from the debt collection industry. Now, for anyone that feels they may have been taken advantage of here, they can head to ag.ny.gov to file a complaint. Live in the newsroom, Nikki Dementri, 7 Eyewitness News.